at different levels. Not only looking at in-person learning, but looking at hybrid models of learning. Hybrid models of learning referring to oftentimes, you know, separating groups of children, students, and bringing them through in different cycles, or whether it's, you know, daily, bi-daily cycle, weekly cycle to, to minimize the number of students in class. And even playing for the, uh, the possibility, and we hope not to get to this point, the possibility of needing to go to full remote learning. Uh, obviously, the, the, the situation is very dynamic uh, regarding the pandemic in the country. What things will look like in New Hampshire and, and in New England come the fall time um, is, is up in the air. Um, but schools and school districts need to be planning for all eventualities um, and applying the guidance to their specific situations and the specific grades that they're dealing with, the specific student population. Um, and so we will continue to work with school, uh, schools and school districts to try and implement the layers of uh, protection so that students can come back in the classroom and have the benefits of learning in person, but also planning for the possibility that